Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Flash Fill in Excel. Flash Fill is a tool that was added in Excel 2013. So if you're using versions prior to that, you would not have access to this tool. Now Flash Fill is a tool that will make data entry really easy for you because it identifies patterns and does the work for you. So I'll show you using six examples of how to use Flash Fill in Excel. So here I have these uh, names of some uh, superheroes and fictional characters and I'll show you how you can quickly extract the first name from these names. So the name is Tony Stark and I want to get the first name here. So I would simply type Tony and now when I come down, I instead of doing this using formulas or text to columns, which are again perfectly fine ways of doing this, we would use Flash Fill because that's much faster way of doing it. So in this case, I would go to the data tab here and I have the Flash Fill option in the data tools category. And when I click on Flash Fill, the keyboard shortcut is Control E, see what happens. As soon as I click here, it will fill these cells with the first names because it identified the pattern here. The pattern was that I wanted the first name from this name before the space character. Similarly, it pulled Clark from here, Peter from Peter Parker, Steve from Steve Rogers and so on. Let's uh, look at the uh, at another example of using flash fill. Here I have these names and I want the initials from these names. So I would type T space S, which is Tony initials for Tony Stark. And now I can simply press control E. And as soon as I do this, you can see it gives me the initials of all these names, CK for Clark Kent, PP for Peter Parker and so on. If you want only, let's say the initial of the first name, you can do that as well. Let me first delete this. I come here, I'll enter T. And now when I come down and press control E, it'll give me the initials of the first name. Let's have a look at another example. Here I have first name in column A and second name or the last name in column B and I want to combine these two cells. Now uh, you can easily do this using concatenate or ampersand uh, but flash fill first of all is faster and flash fill is uh, better when even when you have more complex combination. I'll show you what I mean by that. So here what I would do is I would type Tony Stark now I hit enter and I press control E and instantly it will combine these names, first name and the last name. But instead of this simple combination, what if I want to have a little complicated combination, which would be Stark, comma, Tony. Now again, this is something you can do using formulas, but in this case, the formula would be a bit complicated, but and it doesn't matter to flash fill because it has identified the pattern. So if you come here and you press control E, it will instantly fill this with the last name followed by a comma, then a space character and then followed by the first name. So flash fill would instantly do this for you. Let's see another example here. I have email IDs and I want to extract the username so I can again do the same thing. I can simply type the username here and press control E or hit the flash fill option here. And as soon as I do this, it will extract the username. Similarly, if you want the domain name, for example, Iron Man, Superman, Spider-Man, then you can do that as well. Let's have a different example. Here I have numbers. These are phone numbers and I want to use these phone numbers in a specific format. So in this case, the format would be 401-614-1655. And now when I come down and I press control E, it has identified the pattern and it will format these numbers in the specified format. So it will quickly do this for me. So you can use this with numbers as well. Now let's have a look at another example here. I have address and I want to get the state code for from these address. So I would simply have to type M I here. And now when I come down and I press control E, it will instantly fetch these state codes for me and give it here. So similarly, if you have address and you only want the city part or the house number, then you can do this using flash fill. Now, there are certain limitations of using flash fill. The first one is that the result is static. So for example, in this case, this is a static result. If I come here and change this code or the address, this will not update. If you want this to be dynamic, you need to use formulas. 
Another limitation is that it may falter sometimes in identifying the pattern. So for example, in this case, I have a combination of names where some names have only the first name and last name, and some names have the first name, middle name, and last name. And here you would see that Flash Fill would not be able to identify the pattern. So in this case, if I want to get the middle name, I type S here, I come down, and now when I press Control E, it will give me the result which is not right because in case of Clark Kent, there is no middle name, but it's giving me Clark as the middle name. Sorry, this shouldn't be first name. This should be middle name. Similarly, in this case, this is right. In this case, this is right, but it's wrong in case of Bruce. It's right in case of Harry James Potter, but again, it's wrong in case of Albus. So you need to be a bit cautious when using Flash Fill because at the end of the day, it is a, a programming language that's doing the work for you. So it will work on easily identifiable patterns. If it cannot identify a pattern, you may get the wrong result. So make sure that there is a definite pattern. And if you have it, you can easily use Flash Fill to make data entry really easy for you. So that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.